I'm in the Gabon with my daughter Tansy, looking for two gorillas, Jalter and Bims. They were brought up at Howlett's Wild Animal Park and finally released back into the wild many years ago. We looked for many hours on the river to find them and then they appeared after hearing my calls. We found Jalter and Bims. Uh, I haven't seen them for about three or four years and uh, you can see they're just here on the edge of the river so they've heard us and they've come to see us. Fantastic. Look here. <laughs> I was a little nervous to meet them. I hadn't seen Jaltram Bims for many years, and I wasn't sure how they would react. That was a very, very sweet call. A little squeak. It was fantastic to see the greeting I got. I felt such love from them. And when they hold you and ask you to hold them like gorillas do, there's no greater privilege. Bonding with a gorilla is one of life's great experiences. If there's nowhere else in the world that's been introducing gorillas, you can see here that these are gorillas born in captivity and they're living completely wild and they're very happy, very healthy very healthy and calm and wonderful condition nobody can convince me sorry, nobody can convince me they don't belong here things were going incredibly well but then I actually noticed Jalta staring at Tansy and he hadn't seen Tansy for 12 years. I haven't seen him since I was really young, since I was about that time. Um, so I wasn't sure if he'd remember me, but I think just him and Bims definitely remembered me. And they were so sweet and so gentle and um, really different to how they were with Dad, who they were really playful with. After all, Tansy grew up at Howlett's. She was there when Jalta and Bims actually were sent back to the Gabon. I was considering whether it was safe for Tansy to come on land and see Jaltram Bims. He seemed so interested in her, clearly recognised her. Just getting the best selfie ever. <laughs> no big deal. I decided it was okay and summoned Tansy. As Tansy approached, I could hear the gorilla gurgles and I felt more and more confident that she would be accepted by them. It's so exciting. I've never been anywhere like it, and it's amazing to see the animals, which I've only really seen in the parks, in their natural habitat. It's a privilege, isn't it, to go and see an animal that you've raised in captivity, and you've released, and you don't see them for a few years, and then you find them in the forest, and they greet you like long-lost brothers. And then I could see the way they were playing with me, how pleased they were to see me, and they were so gentle the way they were playing. I mean, it might look like it was very, very rough, but it was so gentle. There was not a mark on me. And they just wanted to be tickled and play rough and tumble. And I noticed with Tansy how gentle they were. So they knew that she was a girl, and they knew that they had to be gentle with her. And it was very sweet to see that. It was lovely to see Tansy with her old friends. When we had to go, they held on to Tansy. You can see they didn't want her to leave. It was very moving to watch, but we did have to go. Night was coming. The next morning, we woke up and there they were, on the edge of the river, ready to see their friends again.